so now let us write the conditions which are associated with this so the first condition was that if age is less than 18 so uh, then what the syntax says you need to write something like this if age is less than 18 then so you can see that all the other set of formatting is automatically taken care by the VB automatic code so you don't have to worry about that part but uh, think about uh, you know displaying the message so you want to miss display a message saying that, saying that hi ABC your you are a my it can be uh, displayed using a function called message box which has a short form called as MSG BOX this is used to display a message in a pop-up so you can actually use this MSG box as message box now what do you want to kind of prompt you want to prompt that uh, hi ABC obviously you are a minor so I'll write this in the inverted commas so hi some space so that there is some space between hi and name and the way you can write the variable is something like this you can use a plus sign you know plus name plus so what this means is hi plus name will give hi if, if the name is David it will return hi David and then I want to also return some other information something like hi David you are a uh, a minor so that's why another plus sign can be uh, how you can write uh, the variables along with the text so I'm, I'm writing in this style you are a minor so and bracket close so what I have done is I have just displayed the message box hi name you are a minor and name will be a variable it will depend on what name I provide in this column so if the name is David hi David you are a minor if that condition is true so that's what happens so um, let's move forward if this is not true then else okay I'll write if again because I want to check the second condition if age is less than 60 then message box I'll copy the same message so that I don't have to kind of uh, uh, copy all these or write this again and again I will just change only one item which is instead of minor I'll write this as major okay and uh, again if this is not true then uh, obviously the message that needs to be displayed is hi name you are a senior citizen so this is what we are going to look at senior citizen and uh, since there are two ifs you need to have the end if as well so this is a normal syntax if you start with if you need to end if as well sorry so you can write this as end if and I have just formatted this so that one if corresponds to this one and the second corresponds or the outer corresponds to this last one and end sub so I think this is this is how your uh, your macro is all about uh, now let us see how we can go about executing this so if you want to run this macro there are a couple of ways in which you can do that uh, one is obviously this button which we have it here so we can press this uh, second is that you can also access this from the Excel environment where uh, you can actually click on macros and uh, you'll find that the macro associated with sheet 1 was called as age category and you can click here to run the macro so let me run it and uh, here since I have not provided any input it prompts me that hi you are a minor without the, without the name so let me kind of put a name here uh, let me put this as David and uh, his age as 15 and uh, let me run the macro again so I'll click on macros and run this and it says hi David you are a minor so besides some formatting issues looks like you know everything is working fine in this let me uh, this age as 25 and see if this macro runs smoothly or not so obviously David you are a major if your age is 25 let me check this for 65 as well if he is a senior citizen 
run it or oh, so you are a senior citizen so looks like our macro is essentially uh, working absolutely fine so uh, obviously as I told you another place to run your macro was here so you can run your macro from the VB environment or you can run directly from here the third way is also very easy to kind of implement and uh, many of them find it pretty useful as well you remember we had earlier made a simple function where we were adding thousand to the x variable and uh, two to the y variable and what we had used was the active x control so that's the similar thing you can actually do in this case as well so uh, we you can use this insert active x and this command button prompts up and um, you can so when you double click you'll find that you are taken to this code I'll, I'll actually go back to our worksheet and I'll right click and um, go to properties I'll change uh, this name this is category I'll just create uh, another name for this one and uh, the caption the caption is something which is displayed inside this button so I'll again call this as category and uh, maybe you know uh, just to suit my needs and just to show you I can uh, change the colors here maybe uh, I love yellow so yellow is what uh, we have it here so uh, this is what we have done in terms of basic changes and uh, please note that I'm in the design mode okay so in the design mode nothing will happen here I'm just still allocating properties and codes here so once I double click here let's say on this button what happens is it takes me to the code so this code is inside sheet one so what I will do is I will not write this code again inside the private sub category click on that click I'll just call that subroutine this subroutines name is age category so I'll, I'll just call this okay call age category that's the only thing which I will do and uh, I guess your uh, your button should work fine so in order to make it execute as you re may remember now that uh, this design mode should be off so I'll come out of the design mode and now I'm hoping that uh, the message box will be prompted by this click so let me click it and as you can see here that um, you know the message box is prompted so let me change this name to Arnold and uh, age to 25 let us see if this works hi Arnold you are a major so this is how you can run your macros using various kinds of formats last but not the least you must store or save this file because this is still book one so we have not yet saved this file let me do that by pressing the shortcut key control s and uh, the moment I do this I'm actually taken to the folder where I wish to store this or you may change these folders as well please note that you may not want to store this as a .xlsx file uh, because you want to store this as a macro enabled file you remember you have created a macro so you can change the name so let's say you know age category is what this name is and save it so now you have created a file which is age, age category .xlsm and uh, this is how it can be done so let us move forward and learn new functions in VBAs and macros